buzzing. Obviously, first off, I wanted to, you know, I was hoping Darren was okay. You never want to see a teammate go down. But um, once I realized he was down, I, I just had to kind of pull myself together and tell myself that we need to we need to go out and win this game regardless of, of what just happened. So, you know, it, um, I just tried to stay calm, cool, and collective and go out there and play football and have fun. It takes a little bit to get into the flow of the game, though. And, uh, I mean, how long did it take for you to feel like you, you were kind of in the flow of the game and felt a little bit more comfortable? Um, yeah, I felt, I felt good uh, going in pretty much off the bat. Um, you know, I actually got to go in for the, the fake punt that we, we had ran, so it wasn't like I was first time stepping on the field. I'd taken my first hit already of the game, so, you know, that, that always calms you down when you, you know, take that first hit and realize that you're okay and get up and keep going. So um, it was just a constant thing, making sure I was staying calm and keep Your offensive up. line uh, did a tremendous job out there for you. Obviously, you guys didn't have to throw the ball a whole lot in the, in the second half because mm -hmm. you, Kenyon, DeAnthony, everybody ran it well, but offensive line took a lot of that pressure off that day. Yeah, the offensive line did a, a great job today. Um, you know, all those guys just blocked their butts off all night, and, you know, they're a big uh, contribution to this win. A lot of... Uh, a lot of talking going on out there. Did, uh, did did part of that talk go back at you once you got in the game too? Uh, not really. No. Uh, tried to try to just stay focused on what we were doing as an offense. But there definitely was a little bit of chatter. But that's football for you. Know, a lot of a lot of going back and forth out there. It's a battle. So. Well, great effort by your defense too. I mean, you guys obviously offensively feed off of what the defense does. Uh, Offense got it going once Arizona State regained the lead, but uh, the defense played tremendous football tonight, didn't they? Yes, uh, the defense did a great job. Um, they got in there, got after the quarterback, um, had a couple great pass block uh, breakups. Cliff got the a, a big pick and interception that he took back a, a long way and led us to a score. So, you know, the defense was a big contribution to this win as well. What does this mean to you guys, obviously, to you know overcome obviously some key injuries? Lamichael not playing in the game, Darren Thomas goes down, uh, you know some some key injuries out there, and yet you guys just keep clicking. What does this mean to you guys? Um, it, it's a it's a great deal to to know that if we have some guys go down, that we can keep keep flowing like uh, like nothing happened. You know, obviously those guys are huge parts of our team, Michael and Darren. So you know we hope they get they get well soon. But until then, we got to just keep going, keep flowing, and keep this thing going. And now it's prep time. You got a prep like uh, like there's no tomorrow, and Colorado's coming up next. Got to put this one behind. You'll enjoy it for a night, and uh, but up comes the practice and a lot more snaps for Brian Bennett. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. We got 24 hours to to celebrate this win and feel good about ourselves, and then it's back to work. So. All right. Well, congratulations. Great job out there. We we'll look forward to talking to you in the future. Thank you very much. All right, Jerry. Brian Bennett, Brian, uh, tremendous game here tonight. Said he Came off the bench and uh, played like like he'd hey, been Brian. out there all. Chip said you didn't panic at all. That, that's what you were impressed. What do you attribute that to? Um, I just, I don't, I don't think I had a choice to, <laughs> to panic or not. Um, I'd got, like I just said, I got out there on a, a fake punt. Um, you know, kind of took that first hit, and you know that that always calms somebody down in a football game. So, you know, I was already already a little bit settled, and you know, it's when somebody when Darren goes down like that, or when he did go down, it, everything was put really on on my back and the, and the rest of our offensive back and you know the offensive line. Kenyon did a great job stepping up, and you know those guys helped me out a lot out there. So, you know, it's it's always keeps you confident when you know that you have other players on your team making plays. You just had the one snap when you first went out. Mm -hmm. You guys had to punt, but they mm -hmm. score real quick and you're right back out there. I mean, mm -hmm. Again, not a whole lot of time to think about it. I mean, it wasn't like an old crap moment or anything. Is you're, you're heading back out there and let the nope. team do another drive? Uh, nope. Yeah. I mean, we just, just got to go out there and think about our keys, think about what we've been taught to do all week and you know, go out and execute it. How big was that sequence at the end of the first half where Cliff gets the interception and then you guys score before the half? Oh yeah, that was a, that was a great job by Cliff going up and getting that and bringing it back. You know, almost the whole the whole length of the field thought he was gonna take it back for a touchdown for for a minute there. But um, you know, that was a, that was a big big drive for us, and you know we kept going off of that. Brian, so many times in the last couple of 